The next Terror Aid Spotlight event has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as well as a big rumor for what the next seven star Terror Aid event will be. We're gonna go over all the details for both in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So we've just had the first portion of the Decidueye seven star Terror Aid event finish for this past weekend as of recording this video. And with that, we've had the announcement of the next Spotlight Terror Aid, which will be actually running in conjunction with the next part of the Decidueye seven star Raid, which will be starting this coming Friday. So as you can see over on the Japanese website here where they've made the announcement, it will be for Blissey, which will be running, like I say, in conjunction with the Decidueye Raid that will be coming back back this current weekend which is the 24th running through to the 26th so Decidueye Raid you're going to be able to get this Blissey Raid. Blissey will be appearing in these four and five star Terror Raid event dens. You can see the event itself running from the 24th until the 26th. It does say the 27th here but that's just time difference. Uh, there are various Terror types so that confirms that they're going to be various Terror types. So it looks like if you win and you beat these Blisseys in the four and five star Terror Raids you're going to get a lot more chances to get a higher amount of Terror Crystals depending on on the terror type that the Blissey is, alongside a lot of level up candies. It doesn't mention anything here about Herba Mystica, and I don't expect us to get Herba Mystica in these Terror Raid events, but I could be wrong. And I do feel like if we were gonna get Herba Mystica with it, it would be something that would be definitely advertised in this Terror Raid announcement. Then it goes on to say also a very rare Blissey will appear inside. If you defeat that Blissey, then you can get more Terror type pieces than the other Blisseys will be giving out. So from the sounds of things, there will be a rarer Blissey appearing in these Spotlight Terror Raids that will give more Terror pieces, so more Terror Shards than the regular ones would be giving you. So that's good, it's gonna mean it's easier to farm for Terra Shards because it is quite tedious at the minute, it is a hard thing to get. Hopefully with this event, it means that you're gonna be able to stock up on all of these different Terra Shards uh, just by battling these Blissies. And Blissey not a really tough Pokemon to go in against, uh, very weak on the physical side of things. So we'll do a bunch of builds that'll cover a bunch of different types on the channel later this week so you can go into it and really farm these quite easily. As I say, these are gonna be appearing as five-star Terror Raids. I did read somewhere, I think Cerebi put out they're gonna be four and five-star Terror Raids, but we'll get the confirmation of that when the event does drop. We'll cover all of this when the event goes live, of course, and then it just goes on to say how you can access it in your games. But this is the event that we'll be running this coming weekend from the 24th until the 26th, and it'll be running alongside the Decidueye event, which will be returning in our game and talking about seven star terror raids there was a rumor put up on 4chan earlier last week suggesting that the next seven star terror raid event will be featuring typhlosion and this image was put out alongside with it saying that typhlosion is going to be the next seven star terror raid now in my opinion it does make a lot of sense but i would say that yoradin there was a great tweet that i saw from yoradin he's a leak analyst does a lot of good work did put this tweet up about the image that we saw from the this Typhlosion here and it does appear to be fake which isn't any surprise so uh, the image is just an edit of the Decidueye raid also the crystal platform and the crystals in the background change color depending on the type that blue that Typhlosion is standing on is for flying a dark terror type would have a reddish color so the reddish color here you can see for the dark terror type is not present here in the Typhlosion raid and it does look very similar in background to what the Decidueye raid is so it looks like it's just been manipulated in Photoshop or something like that so it does appear to be a bit of a fake image although I would say that a dark type Typhlosion would make a lot of sense for our next seven star terror raid it does also mention that Samurott is a possibility for the next seven star terror raid and I guess when you start to look at the seven star terror raid events that we've had so far we've had the Charizard they've all been starter Pokemon so Typhlosion or Samurott would make a lot of sense and it might be a fake image but the rumor might be true it might be so I don't know um I I would love to see Typhlosion as the next seven star terror raid event but I'm not sure if it is going to be true or not we should be due the announcement of what the next seven star terror raid event will be on the 27th which is a week today which will be on Monday so we'll wait and see to find out what that will be but let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see and what you think will be the next seven star terror raid in these games we've got the Blissey raid happening this coming weekend so that'll be good and I do think although not a massively flashy raid event it will be great 
for farming items. It's going to be good for farming rare candies and terror shards, which are the two things that are really difficult to get in the games and tedious. And hopefully these Blissy raids will make it a lot easier. And alongside that, you're going to have the Decidueye raids as well. So you can kind of couple them up and really get a bunch of items. It's going to make it easy for getting your Pokemon leveled up, trained up for whatever you want to do in games. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you found today's video useful and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.